Hi everyone, it's Amber and welcome to my YouTube channel, Amber's Awfully Awesome Art. And today I will be doing a botanical Dutch pour on Amsterdam Vermilion, which is a very beautiful orange, deep orange color. And I am using a 14 by 18 level 2 um, gallery wrapped canvas. It's a little thinner than the level threes. And next here is my paint consistency. So I used golden color gloss pouring medium and, uh, my acrylic paint. So it is mixed at a five to one ratio. So it's five ounces of the golden color gloss pouring medium to one ounce paint. And here I have some, this little piggy rave mixed with a little bit of titanium white. And again, my ratio was the same. Um, and here I have golden uh, quinacridone um, magenta. And I will also be using Amsterdam Prussian blue and Pebeo silver. All right, y'all, let's get started on my uh, botanical Dutch pour. I'm super excited because I've always wanted to do a botanical Dutch pour on a orange base. And I really love Amsterdam Vermilion. It is such a deep orange color with some red in it. And I just haven't seen a lot of orange based Dutch pours or botanical Dutch pours. So yeah, here I am spreading my base out. You don't need a lot of uh, base paint, but uh, you do need to keep your paints a little thick for this technique. And as I mentioned before, I have mixed all of my paints with five ounces of golden uh, color gloss pouring medium to one ounce paint. I will have my recipe and uh, the colors that I use listed down below in the description box. So make sure y'all check that out. And um, next we will lay our colors out. So y'all, now I will layer my colors. And orange is a not a difficult color to work with, but you need to make sure you're working with contrasting colors that won't uh, mud up on you. So for example, blues go really well with orange. Uh, they're contrasting colors. So that's why I'm using um, blues and uh, magentas and purples and that Prussian blue. So here I am just popping some bubbles out, making sure um, my edges are covered. Uh, again, you don't need a lot of paint on there, just enough so that when you blow out your uh, Dutch pour, it has enough paint to blow out. So I'm just randomly lining these uh, up and there's no like, you know, shape or pattern. And I start out with a light color. So I always start out with a light color. So there's my... Uh, this little piggy rave mixed with a titanium white, followed by golden quinacridone magenta. And then I layered a really thin layer of Amsterdam Prussian blue. And this will be followed by my metallic, which is the Pebble silver. And I always finish off with a metallic color. So I'm just popping some bubbles out, uh, kind of centering it because I feel like my botanical Dutch pours are kind of off center. And y'all, I'm ready to blow this out. I feel like I did a terrible job in uh, blowing this Dutch pour out. Um, I get a lot of questions about my hair dryer. Uh, one of my good friends, uh, Tara from Pieces of Tara Artistry, suggested uh, this Kiss Pro dryer that I got from Walmart. Uh, and I set it on low cool. And as you notice, I started from the center and then went back and then kind of went in a zigzag motion. Um, I haven't done one of these in a while. I haven't painted in a while. I was taking a little break. Um, so I'm kind of rusty. But we will fix all that by doing our finger swipes and creating 
the botanical look. So even though if you're not happy with the way you blew your colors out, when you um, modify it with your finger swipes, it'll make it look totally different and your composition will look different. Okay, now I will create uh, my botanical Dutch pour part by doing some finger swipes. And I always create the center first and I gently drag the base paint towards the center. I don't touch the canvas at all. Some people uh, use the back of a paintbrush um, to create these uh, swipes or lines, but I find using my finger, I have better control. Um, if you want to learn more about botanical Dutch pours, then definitely go check out Tina's Inspired Art. I will link her channel down below. And she also has a really great uh, smart art course on botanical Dutch pours. So I will link that uh, smart art course link down below as well because you can save $10 by using my code AMBER10. So I highly recommend it, uh, especially if you want to um, really challenge yourself in your fluid art journey. Uh, so highly recommend that. And I will have her channel um, linked down below as well. Um, next, I will show y'all the wet results of my botanical Dutch pour. And y'all, here are the wet results of my botanical Dutch pour. I really wish I had better control of the dryer, but overall I'm happy with um, or pleased with the composition and how it turned out and the colors as well. Um, I wish I used a little bit less of the quinacridone magenta and um, golden paints are highly pigmented, uh, so you don't need to use a lot of them. Uh, but for next time, um, I will totally use less uh, uh, quinacridone magenta. And here are the resined results. I decided to resin this piece. I don't normally resin my botanical Dutch pours, but I really felt like the orange... Uh, or the Amsterdam Vermilion will pop once I resin it, and I'm super pleased. I use Mixed Media Girl Resin. I will have her channel and website linked down below, so definitely go check her out as well. I absolutely love her resin, don't have any issues at all. Um, I have tried a bunch of different brands and this is the one that I stick by. So there you have it y'all. I will have my recipe and colors that I use linked down below. I get most of my stuff from fluid-art.co, especially all of my uh, Amsterdam paints and my This Little Piggy pigments. So go check out This Little Piggy Pigment and Fluid Art Co. on Facebook, Instagram. They're a really great company. But yeah, there you have it. Thanks for joining me. Um, I hope to see y'all again in the next one. And until next time, guys, stay safe, stay classy, and stay awfully awesome, guys. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.